Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. We got CC Card Gaming here. We got our first in-person regional here in Melbourne this year. So really good. Our team really had really good showing. We got John winning the event. And we got Jun that came fourth. I came top five with SSG as well. And we also got Kevin's food deck profile. So well, let's go Jun. Tell us how you went and show us your deck. Yeah, so today I brought Android 21. Yep. It was a bit of a last minute change. I was going to play Gogeta until I played it a lot and decided it was not the right pick for this tournament. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's just jump straight in. Yeah, I think like even John said, arguably this is probably one of the best decks in the format that no one really plays. It's like criminally yeah. underrated, basically. Right? Very much so in um, Oceano in yeah. particular. Shout out to Jared Lopez, you know, always playing this deck, doing really yeah. well. So, yeah. 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 Alright, let's go with what this deck does. Alright, on the back side, um, you can't activate uh, extra cards during your turn and you cannot and you can't play cards by skills on your turn as well. Um, the auto is if you have an Android 21Z battle card, uh, at the end of your turn you switch one of your blue energy to active mode. This is very good in conjunction with your um, 21Z card, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, yep. The active main, very, very good. Um, you take a life and you look at the top five cards of your deck and add any Android card, any blue Android card from it, which is every Android in the deck, and um, your leader gets plus 5k for the turn. So you can activate this on your first turn, going first, which is huge. Um, then you're just a standard Awaken at 4 life, untap 1, draw 1. Definitely a really good leader, you don't have to interact with your opponent with activate main, insane. Exactly. Um, on the back side, Oh, one notable thing I will say, um, this part where you can't activate extra cards uh, is kind of irrelevant because you're self-awakening anyway. You're going to get there like turn 2, turn 3. Yep. You'll be fine without it. Um, same permanent on the back side that you can't play uh, cards during your turn with skills, uh, by skills, but it, you can play extra cards now. Um, the big permanent on this leader is you can use your opponent's battle cards and unisons to pay for your Android 21 cards, to pay for the energy cost of them. It's absolutely insane. In certain matchups, they flood the board, that's just free energy for you. And then the active main, you draw one card, then untap up to three of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier. Um, it's just more free energy for you. Super Still really good, yeah. You didn't even have to interact with your opponent. You're playing, playing Golden Freezer, no interaction. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, into the deck. We have... Four of the eight drops. Nice. All SPRs. No All ice. SPRs. <laughs> Shout out to John, who gave me the last one of this one and the four drop. Hell yeah, I'd like to see that. Yep. Alright, so this one is a deflect, double strike, dual attacker. Um, that has a permanent that if your leader is a blue Android 21 card, which we are, um, it becomes a 0 for 10k combo. Yeah. Very good, just very strong defensively and offensively. Um, when this card is played, you put their entire board, ignoring barrier, uh, into the drop. Just insane board clear, especially when you can cheat it out using your leader's effect to reduce the cost of this. And then, if that's not enough, uh, when they activate a counter skill, this is during both players' turns, so if they counter counter you or something, or counter play something, they still have to do this effect. Um, they have to discard two cards. Yeah. Very, very strong card. Um, I didn't... I played it a few times this tournament, but just respecting my opponents, like Petrification, um, Blue SGR that can bottom deck this card during the battle, it's just, you need to be careful. Um, oh, sorry. It's got a final auto where it switches 5 to active at the end of the turn. You just need to be careful because you want that to resolve if you're tapping out or tapping low for this. How many times was Cunning resolved against you today? Cunning was played against me once by Mr. John Ardross himself. Hell yeah. He resolved two of them against me, yep. which meant for every energy I wanted to untap with this effect, I had to warp 10 cards from my drop. So basically no untap. But at that point it was no untap. I had 9 cards in my drop at the final chance I could and yep, was not happening. Fair enough. Moving on, we have yeah, best floodgate in the deck. Best floodgate in the deck, arguably. Yep. Full power counter. Full power counter. 25k double strike uh, counter attack. Play this card. It doesn't actually negate the attack, but um, when you play it, you kill one of their battle cards, ignoring barrier. 
And for the rest of the turn, if they want to swing with a non-leader card, they have to place one Z energy and one um, card from their hand into the drop area. Against some decks that don't Z charge, or they have no Z energy at the time, this is a baby hatch. It ends their turn on the spot. Um, if they attack with a battle card and you just kill it, they've got no Z energy, they're done. They can't do anything. Um, and just to make the card even better, it's a uh, check line. It, it ignores any G exhaust in this deck. Yep, and a double strike, you know, beat stick as well if it stays on the board. Very strong. 25k double strike is not an insignificant number. It's quite big. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Next up we have the SCR of choice for this deck. Yep. Android 21. It has to be this card. Um, you can use your opponent's cards to pay for this. Um, in non-blue and green matchups, you're paying uh, two of your own energy and two of their battle cards. It just uh, clears their board, ignoring barrier, takes their unison. Uh, for every card that you choose with it, not the cards that you absorb, so this includes tokens, it includes um, secret rares, um, you gain one life, up to a maximum of two. So most every time I resolve this, this has been a gain two life board play. Um, and then because the cards go underneath it, when it would be removed for the first time yep. by a skill, um, you can take those cards from underneath it, give them back to your opponent, and this card doesn't die. Yep. If that wasn't enough already, it's a 40k blocker dual attacker. 40k dual attack is massive. You just ask them if they have a negate, if not they're probably taking the damage. It's kind of searchable in the deck, right? It is searchable yep. off your leader skill. Yep. Um, off the other searches, it's not, but we'll get into it. Yep, pretty sweet. Then we play one of the bad omen. Um, you can't play it by the skill in this deck. But you can tap five for it, including your opponent's cards to play it. Um, you choose one of your energy and place it in the drop area. You kill one of their battle cards, not ignoring burial, and then you burn them alive. This card never came up today wow. because my opponents were playing around it pretty well. Yep. Um, but yeah, just the threat of having this card and being able to end the game on the spot. Actually, no, I did win one of my games with this card. In the Android 21 mirror match, um, this card came up and I was able to close out the game on the spot with yeah. this. The threat of it being there is... Sorry about that. Yeah, you have to respect this card. Yeah, of course, 100%. It's literally just a threat just sitting there waiting to burn you for one. Exactly. Then we've got... Uh, Four of the uh, Audacity card. Yep. I call um, this Draw Ape, you know. <laughs> <laughs> draw Ape is a good name for it. Yep. It's a four cost that, again, you can use your opponent's cards to play. Yep. Um, it's a 20k double striker that draws you two cards, and at the end of your opponent's next turn, they play a token, which, again, you can use as energy. Um, this card, just a, it's bread and butter. It's just, you draw some cards, you play a 20k double strike beat stick, it's just good. It's good, yeah, for sure. Drawing two, hell yeah. At worst, it's a zero for five. Yep. So, yeah, just a good card. Then we got two of the Android 21 counterplay. Uh, it's a critical blocker. Counterplay, you play this card. Uh, when you do, you choose one of these effects. Uh, if it's your turn, you choose one of uh, their battle cards and bottom deck it. And if it's your opponent's turn, you draw a card. Um, the really big thing about this card is in Counter Window 2, you can choose the card that they're playing and tap it. So they can't swing with it. Like, say it was an 8 drop Gohan. You pay 3 blue and use the fourth, the Gohan as the fourth energy to play this, yeah. resulting in it being tapped and it can't do anything. Yeah, this card's really good. It's very good. Didn't come up too much today. I probably would cut this probably for Kusu. Um, I think that card is just generically better. Paying three blue can often be quite hard. Yeah. Um, but in the blue mirror, this card is insane. Yeah. You're just playing it for free. Yeah. It's, basically. it's silly. Yeah. Then we got three of the Android 18 top five searches. It's a check clan. Um, you can discard it to search your top five for a a blue android 5 or less and add that to your hand um, that's basically what it's in the deck for um, I have in testing a few times um, done the arrival where you bottom deck one of their cards on the field and they bottom deck one from hand and then it's a 25k crit um, yeah it's just a good card um, it's basically in there to be a check line though and it's very strong on your turn one if you can go leader skill Play a can trip, play this card, you just didn't your deck three cards. Yep. Very strong. 
I love it. Max rarity still, you know, we're going, you know? Exactly. More winner cards coming. <laughs> Full peel off. Um, this card is insane. The more creative you are with it, the better it is. Um, it's a counter attack that doesn't negate the attack, but when you play it, you draw a card. And if it's your opponent's turn, you choose one of their keyword skills on one of their battle cards and negate it. So that, it's not choosing the card itself, so it gets through barrier, yep. and it can choose barrier itself. The keyword, yes. Exactly. Um, then it's got an active battle. Um, you place one of their combo cards uh, with a cost of zero uh, at the bottom of their deck. So basically, they swing with something, you play this, you draw yourself a card, they try to combo... Most people won't combo into it because they know about the active yep. battle, but if they do, that's going straight to the bottom of the deck, and you can combo this off, and it's basically a super combo. Arguably, this is pretty good against Green Gohan turn one, right? Like, you Very know, good. Yeah, they swing, Very and they, with, good. they went first, they swing with the Vegeta, and they try to combo swing, crit, and then you combo this. If you ever yeah. see two in your starting hand and you go first against Green Gohan, yeah, you, you definitely probably want win the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Because when they combo the trunks off the Vegeta, you can just bottom deck it, and they lose crit as well, so you just take the hit. And exactly. you got to freeze the energy as well for yourself to play the 21 next turn. Really good. So, on your first turn, you'll just play it by um, playing it on your turn? Yeah. The time chamber, play the Vegeta underneath it, yeah. back to you. Um, you can do whatever you need to do on your turn, then you pass it back to them. You've got a P-Life, you got another one in hand, you play that. You spin the trunks from the Vegeta, yep. and then you spin the Vegeta itself when they combo that. Yep. So they're just hard negging if they want combo power. Pick up your winners if you haven't now already. <laughs> Very good card. At, at worst, this is the best cantrip in the game. Yeah. Shout out to Blake Hot Takes, he says this card's bad, alright? Yes, Shout out to Blakey Boy. And then, just then we got two more can trips. Yep. Um, unfortunately, not max rarity, but good card. Yep. Um, it's a top five search for a blue android card. Uh, a blue or green android card, actually. And then you add that to your hand. Um, and then on the turn that you play it, you can pick up a... At the end of your turn, you can pick up a blue-green multicolor card, add it to your hand from your energy, add it to your hand, and place down a different energy in rest. Um, that effect didn't come up today because... I want two green, blue, multicolor energies, and when I played this card, that's all I had at the time. So it's mostly there as a one-drop searcher, comboed off as the energy. Still a very good card. Still a really good turn one play for the deck. Absolutely. Even when you're running out of things to do in the late game, top yep. five search never bad. Then we got some more can trips. Full pan. Um, it's a barrier. Draw one. The big thing about it though is active main, you can give it to your opponent and effectively you paid one energy to draw a card and gave your opponent a card so that acts as another energy for you. Um, Basically it's free, you didn't pay anything for it. You didn't pay anything yeah. for it, yeah. It, it's very good. You, and if you can somehow keep it on board across multiple turns, it is very yeah. frustrating for your opponent. Literally you're playing with so much more energy than you have. You have all four, that's four extra energy that you're playing with. Crazy. Exactly. Funnily enough, in my game against John, it came to the point where I had three of them against him. Yeah. And he just needed to swing with one of the tokens I gave him and combo them all off. I couldn't negate the attack, but yeah. Just needed to get rid of all of those. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the super combo of choice for the deck. Four Android 8s. It's yep. just a, and it's a blue Android, so it's searchable. Um, and when your life is four or less, which you want to get to pretty quickly, it's just a 10k combo draw card. Um, notably, it is active um, as a 10k even if you are above four life, yep. which you will be a lot of the time, especially if you awaken, then you play your Android 21 Secret Rare and go back up to six. Um, I would consider playing one of the uh, untap one, which is the 16, 17, and 18 in the truck. We call it the car, yeah. The car, <laughs> the car whatever But I looked through my entire ultimate squad, I don't own that card. <laughs> so, it has to be another Android 8. But it was good today. Just drawing cards, always good. Always good. And then we got a few tech cards. Yep. We've got uh, SGR. Um, these days, the part that's really strong is when you charge it as the energy. So you just combo it off for a 5k, you charge it as the energy, you bottom deck one of their cards five or less. Very strong. But there's always the threat of you tapping three to play this card when your life is four or less. Yep. And then you bottom deck one of their battle cards, yeah. regardless of cost. So if it doesn't have barrier and they're dumping for game, 
they have to be wary of this. Correct. And also um, with combination of um, what do you call peel off as well? You can basically bottom deck any barrier. Any yeah. If you have four energy, peel off, and this in your hand, any battle card is not safe. Yep. We are Gucci. Yeah. This card's um, really good. Yeah. And if it does resolve, it's a 20k triple attacker. Triple attack is a good keyword. Yep. <laughs> Then we've got the one of turning the tide. Hey. Um, it didn't come up today. I did have the opportunity to do it, but I think I would have. I was respecting the journey. They had energy yeah. up. If I got journey, I think I would have just. This was against game. Ethan, right? That was against yeah. Ethan. Yes. Um, but yeah, what it does is it chooses all cards in both players' hands, and uh, they shuffle back to, to their deck. And your opponent shuffles all of their battle cards in their drop area back into their deck. So basically, if they're on like one life or if you have a bit of a board and um, you drop this yeah. they've got no cards in hand you're going to crit them one probably hit them with a double striker they just lose yeah very good card is good yeah good card's good requires respect um, yeah but you need to respect your opponent when they're respecting you correct <laughs> all the blue mirrors <laughs> and then we go into the negate package hey, with more winners love it <laughs> more android 17s um, this is your cheap floodgate of the deck yeah it negates the attack um, regardless and then limit one you can uh, if you have a Z card uh, a Z battle card a Z leader or a 3Z energy, every time your opponent swings with a battle card, they must bottom deck a card. Yep, that's cool. Um, yeah, just a very good generic blue floodgate, which happens to be a blue android which is searchable in your deck. Yeah, this card's been good for a long time now, so... Very good card. Best, blue's best floodgate, but... Android 21's best floodgate is still full power count in my opinion. And just a hint, we do play cheap um, Z cards. Yep, if those stick on the board, they don't even require the Z energy to exactly. resolve the floodgate effect. Then we got... 4 D magic because of blue, yep. D magic, D magic. Yeah. You negate, untap two. You can sparking it. Um, yep. To <laughs> truly untap two. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, good not much to be said. Yeah, D magic, D magic. Yeah. yeah. Good card. Good card is good. Another card that doesn't need to really be spoken for. Senzu Bean. Senzu Bean. Hell yeah. Jun's got the playset of the new ones now because he's yes, got top four. So I do. might see a change soon, but yeah. Exactly. Good card is good. Um, yeah, just defensively 5k untap two. Seems good. Super good against aggro. Hell yeah. And you can do more shenanigans with like Gohans, Arrivals, etc. Exactly, yeah. Then we get into the unisons of the deck. We play one boo. Yep. Secret rare boo. <laughs> Secret rare boo, yes. <laughs> I, funnily enough, resulted in probably three of yep. my games today. Right. Drawing an extra card every turn, untapping an extra card every turn, and they can't swing with card battle cards without barrier. Yep. Very good card. Hell yeah. Um, oh, the spice now. Let's go. This card requires to be played around. Yep. And then we got the spice. The spice. We got three of the hit unison. Um, plus one. Draw a card. It's good. But the reason I played it is for the minus one. For two additional energy, you can um, unawaken your opponent's leader until the end of their next turn. Absolutely yeah. broken. Broken. Effect. It's, broken, it's yeah. very silly. I had an Android 21 mirror where I had this card and they didn't. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. Yeah. Um, for like four or five turns, he was playing on his unawakened leader. Sure, he's uh, when he can awaken, he's drawing another card, he's untapping one. And then I was like, Cool, unawaken it again. Which means he can't use my cards as energy. Theoretically as well, against Fu, uh, if you unawaken their leader, they cannot redirect an attack um, with using their leader skill because they yeah. don't have it. Yeah, yeah, very good card. It's just crazy. I'm glad, you know, Jun thought of this, you know, spicy, spicy. Yeah. And then we're coming in with the Z deck. Be quite standard. Very, yeah, very simple, standard. very simple. Yep. Three of the two drop. Three of the four drop. Yep. So, the two drop. Uh, 10k critical. Uh, it's only 10k when it has a card underneath it because it loses 5k when it doesn't. Yep. Uh, when you play the card, you can add a life, so that can accelerate your awaken if that's what you need. Um, at the start of your opponent's next main phase. So when you play it, you're going to Z stack this, yep. and then at the start of your opponent's main phase, pay one. Coincidentally, you untap one at the end of your turn when you have this out. Yep. So you go ahead and play this. This one, you don't get the Z stack effect because you only get that if you play it from the Z deck. But um, you ramp an energy and bottom deck one of their battle cards. And it's a blocker on the board. And it's a blocker. Yeah. 
And if you do hard cast this, you have to Z stack a card from your Z deck, which is, this is the last card, which we'll speak about in a second. Notably, it has barrier though, um, and you can gain a keyword from cards underneath it. So, say you stole one of your opponent's cards with triple strike, you can gain that. Yep. You Z stack this, you gain barrier, and it becomes a 20k barrier blocker, which is very good. Um, this card here, this is just respecting the Foos, the Gogetas, those decks that are drawing massive hands at the moment. Yep. Um, the active battle, completely irrelevant, but when you play it, if your opponent has 11 more cards in hand, um, they bottom deck cards until they only have 10 left. Yeah, it's got Deflect and Barrier, very hard to interact with. I don't think any card interacts with its effect. Not that I'm aware of, not, not that I can think of on top of my head anyways. So. Yeah, so when you have Gogeta sitting with an 18 card hand, you say, cool, I pay 2 and 2 Z energy, it's like a Ribrian, go ahead and uh, drop 8 cards. Yep. Very, very good. Kevin experienced that at local? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving along to the sideboard. We have two black smoke. Um, this card didn't come up. It's just a toolbox card. You can draw cards. You can um, get rid of card ignoring barrier. But that this deck already does that so much. Um, and you can instantly kill a unison with cost of two and seven or less markers. Just get rid of it. Yeah, it can be very relevant. Yeah, didn't play this card today, but. It's a good toolboxy card. I might end up cutting this for some other stuff in the deck. Yeah, well, you don't know what to decide. Decide in smoke because it does so much. You exactly. Know? Surely it'll be useful. We've got one more of the Android Twenty One just for the blue matchups. Yep. We've got two Koitz Kai. This is a flood floodgate game now. Yep. Every color basically has a floodgate except for maybe black. Um, yeah, it's a good card that yep. if they play a first, you filter your hands uh, two cards to the bottom of the deck, then draw two. Um, then if they play a battle card with a cost of 20k power or less, they warp two cards from hand yep. during your turn. Very good card. Two Tapion. Yes, the spice. <laughs> this is to deal with Gogeta Unison and also Kumba SEO. Um, you pay three for it because you need to pay three to do the minus two. Yes. You correct. actually do need to have a marker on it to, for it to remain on board. So when you do the minus two, you negate one of the, your opponent's battle card skills and put it underneath this card. Yep. So it just, those annoying SCRs and golden freezes that say that they can't be removed. Yes, they can. <laughs> also very good against um, the mask two. That's what yes. Juan has learned from uh, Sydney Regionals. Yes, yeah, sorry, Alan. <laughs> sorry, Alan, but yeah. That's good, you know, if you need something to sign against them, why not? If it's got indestructible, you can eat it up. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, notably as well, if they swing once per turn, when they swing with a anything, you can just stick it up. So if they're not dealing with this, eventually you might be able to do it again. And it doesn't have to have an annoying skill, you can just remove a battle card. Very good. Good tech. Uh, one, more, one more bad omen. In slower matchups where you might want to burn them multiple times, yep. this get, comes in. Um, yeah, I did sign this in against uh, Richard in the Android 21 mirror. Yeah, that's a slow game for sure. Yeah. Yep, maybe if maybe the one that I used to win the game was the second one, who knows. Yes. Then one of Duran, got to respect turning the tide. You got to respect it when you play it, and you got to respect it being played on you. Yep. Um, draws you a card and basically says you can't bottom deck cards first. Yep. Yeah. If you have a big hand, can also be used against the Goku as well. Yeah, exactly. Two Mafuba. This card deals with um, Green Gohan, Green Gohan, and all of the uh, Gogeta Age drops. So true. They need ages to activate their leader effect, and then you just say, oh yeah, I put this on one on top. You no longer have a card that yeah. does that. Um, so they can't untap anything, and they don't get that card on your offensive turn, yes. so they can't use Aegis. Yep. If they've tapped all for that, and then you do this to them, they're, basically they're, not, tapped happy. Out. Yeah. they're not happy. <laughs> they're basically tapped out, waiting to use a D-Magic to save their life. Pretty much. And then, last four cards, to respect John himself. Yes. Four Debora. Yep. It's not excessive. Four is what you need. I am in love with four Debora and every one of the blue decks that I play. Um, you float so much energy with blue, and if they make you discard a card, you tap one yep. and say, no I don't, I draw two. Exactly, um, yeah. And some cards like Wicked Saiyans or um, the boo that makes you dis the five drop boo that makes you discard two, you just go, cool, I tap two, play these, I draw four. 
Yeah, Look at another niche interaction. If they you sells EDK and they pick this from your hand, man, they're, they're probably they're probably in a world of hurt. Yes, right? it, it is very funny when they do that. All right, that is it for the sideboard. That yeah. is it for the sideboard and the deck as a whole. All right, congrats on the top four finish once again. Do you want to go over your matchups quickly today? I think it was five rounds today here. So I versed um, Andrew playing Beerus round one. Yep. Uh, it was the red yellow Beerus with all the arrival stuff. Yep. Um, that's a more mid-range, faster deck. This deck does very well into that sort of thing. It wants to play slow, it wants to get some late game. Yep. Um, that sort of deck allows you to get there. Then I versed um, Ethan playing uh, Gogeta. Yep, local boy, shout out, Ethan. Oh. Local boy, shout out. Good yep. man. Collingwood um, won yesterday. I actually played this deck because I think it has a very good matchup into Gogeta and Foo specifically. Yep. Um, with Gogeta, it's quite funny when you tap their stuff to pay energy, untap their stuff to do it again, you yep. play something else, then they use their effect, untap their own card. Oh, look at that, I can play something else again. So basically, they're giving you three instances where you can use their cards as energy. Yeah. Very toxic. We play the Mafubas, we play the Tapions. Quite a good matchup. Yeah. It has a very good late game against that deck. Yeah. Round three, I verse. It's, it's um, a game, isn't it? I can't think of what I versed off the top of it. was Richard, right? Yes, actually. It was yeah, Richard, Richard yeah. Mirror. Yeah. So. Like I said, I had the hit unison, he didn't, the game was over at that point. Yep. Um, round four, I versus John, unfortunately I lost that one to the Green Go Hunt. Yep. Very close game, came down to the last three cards in deck for me, last four wow. cards for him, even though I was making him bottom deck cards, so very, very, very close game. Uh, round five, first our teammate Kevin, he yep. was playing Foo. Um, in, in theory, I was thinking, yeah, this deck has a pretty good matchup into Foo. In practice, it feels unwinnable. I just clear their board. Yeah. They make me gain life with my secret rare. I'm just counterplaying everything they do. Yeah. It's just very, very gross. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a really good pick. It sounds like you are prepared for John and Kev's deck as well. So, you know, it's a good call because you've been grinding Gogeta a lot. So I was grinding Gogeta, but I decided it wasn't the right call. All right, good change. If I, well, finally, any shout outs you'd like to give? Shout out to all the collector company boys. Uh, shout out to John in particular for winning the event. Yep. Um, shout out to all my opponents. And, yeah. Sweet. Alrighty. Thank you for watching, guys. So watch out for more deck profiles. We've also got um, SSG coming from me, and then we got Foo coming from Kevin as well. And John might do a Facebook post for his Green Gohan. Alright. Thank you, everyone. Signing out. Peace. Peace.